All right, Kareem, I'm going over Wednesday's strength training session. So we're still on a hypertrophy. Uh, the first two movements, A1 and A2, we're actually gonna do all four at once before we switch to our A2. Uh, so you'll have potentially some people in A1, some people in A2, and then they can flop. But uh, just because this first one here, it's our dumbbell uh, banded goblet squat, it's really hard for people to switch back and forth. So clients are gonna sit down on the box, they're gonna slide the red band, up just right above their knees there, but towards adding that tension in, so they really gotta focus on ripping their knees out. And then it'll be our goblet squats all the way down to the bottom. So slightly wider stance, toes are pointed out, two dumbbells held up, so not letting them rest on their shoulders, they are holding them up, ripping those knees out, sitting all the way down, squeezing our core all the way up. So that'll be A1, A2. Same deal, uh, some of our clients are ready for banded assisted pull-ups. So we'll have the band set up here, uh, and same thing, that way they don't have to switch back and forth. But if they can do the banded pull-ups or unassisted, they'll be doing that. If they're still using suspensions, that's totally okay. Typically about hip height is perfect. Palms will face away the whole time. And same thing, we're getting good squeeze up the top at our eight to 12 reps. Uh, just like always, if they walk towards the mirror, that makes them more difficult. Walking backwards will make them easier. B1 and B2, so B1 is gonna be our deep chest press. So essentially with our hex dumbbells, touch them together on that flat spot, we'll sit all the way down, we're shooting for eight to 12 reps on that deep chest press. So typically it's a little bit lighter than they can normally do, but still pretty dang heavy. So that'll be our B1. Our B2, they'll have a wall ball, preferably, and they're gonna be doing their trunk rotation. So holding here, faster they go, the harder it is, farther they hold it out, the harder it is as well. Really flexing, squeezing their core while they do that. C1 and C2, they'll be done up there, but our wall ball is for it's that full squat. Use that momentum to help throw the ball. Really make sure you guys are correcting them, they're not doing it properly. And then our C2, they're gonna sit down, hands free, but they gotta sit low enough to hold the wall ball out for the remaining time. And that'll be C2. Our finisher, we got 20 seconds on, 10, seconds off, uh, they'll be doing their banded squat press. So they'll have their band standing on it, feet are about shoulder width apart, palms are facing up, full squat, press up the top. That'll be the first one. And then the second one is our V up. So either a little bit easier or actually pulling their bag up off the mat. All right, crew, let's get after it.